On Sunday, October 8th, two Williamson firefighters were injured when a previously burned building on West 4th Avenue gave way and collapsed into the street. The debris from the building fell into the street and onto one of their fire engines, resulting in some of their equipment being damaged as well. Williamson Fire Chief Joey Carey describes the incident as a freak accident. This was a freak accident. We, we, had, we had studied this building for, like I said, this building is, was, was there, the remains for the last four days. Uh, my guys were looking at the structural integrity of the building, um, looking to see if there was any other drippage from, from bricks or anything that had fallen over the last few days. They looked at this thing four or five times a day. Um, nothing was noticed. Um, they responded like they should. Uh, I had ordered them not to make entry into this uh, structure because I didn't feel like it was safe. They were a good distance out into the street and it was just a freak accident. The entire building collapsed out into the street where they were. You want to save money and Appalachian Wireless gets that. Right now you can get up to $650 off select devices, including the latest and the greatest on the Advantage Unlimited plan with a trade-in. Did y'all hear me? Up to $650 off select devices, including the latest and greatest with a trade-in. <laughs> I'm not a math whiz, but this deal, it's amazing and you'll be on the region's premier network. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. See AppalachianWireless.com for complete terms and conditions. The collapsed building is now undergoing demolition. Both of the injured firefighters are expected to make a full recovery and the fire engine will be replaced later. Um, currently now, uh, the building's down. Uh, demolition's underway. It's well underway. They're almost complete with it. Uh, so, I mean, we're just happy it's down and, and I'm just thankful that, that you know, the injuries that occurred to my two guys were, were injuries that are recoverable. Um, they could have been way worse. And the truck can always be replaced. I mean, that's why we all have uh, insurance. Uh, so, you know, I, I think we're, you know, it was, it was unfortunate and it was a bad accident, but we're very fortunate today sitting here talking to you and talking about guys who are recovering and a truck that's going to be replaced rather than a truck that couldn't be replaced and two men who couldn't be replaced. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.